Okay guys, I want to go ahead and uh, make my 2023 lawn care setup video. We'll start off with this truck. This is a 2006 Chevy 1500 short bed single cab four wheel drive with the 4.8 liter small block V8. About 123,000 miles. Uh, just basic work truck interior. All of the Chevy rust. Well, I keep, uh, I've got a, ra it's like a ratcheting, well not a ratcheting, but a bed cargo bar, some jumper cables, and a fire extinguisher behind the seat. Some ratchet straps. I need to clean the bed out, but, uh, You've seen this truck a number of times before, just a basic old Chevy work truck. Then next would be my six by 14 tandem axle enclosed trailer. I made a video recently about this. I'll show you the inside just real quick. I have a fire extinguisher some trimmer line, spare tire held up with a bungee cord, E-tracks throughout different places, keep a ladder, some loppers, trimmer line, heads, oil, gas can rack, blower rack, there's another blower rack gonna be right there, gas can rack, handheld blower rack, weed eater rack, green touch, and this is where I keep my combi stuff at. And while we're here, I'll show you the Ram. It's a 2015 Ram 2500. I recently put new headlights on. I need to make a quick video about them. But uh, single cab, 5.7 Hemi, four wheel drive, automatic, about 100, getting close to 190,000 miles on it. Uh, got the rear I think that's amp brand ram step or something like that I added to it step folds down make it easier to get back up in the truck I've got a hitch clamp with a B&W stow and go I think seven inch drop hitch seven and a half inch or whatever it is got a craftsman toolbox there's a uh, chains, binders, ratchet straps, boots. I've got some ice cleats for standing on super steep hills. Inside the truck in the back, I've got a fire extinguisher. I've got a phone holder right there, as you can see through the window. Uh, headphones, first aid kit, number of things you carry day to day in the truck. And then go in the garage, show you the equipment. We'll start off with this. This is not mine. A buddy of mine has let me borrow this. If you've seen my last two shorts, I uh, had a big cleanup job and I got some fallen trees from it and I've been splitting them up into firewood I'm going to sell. I ain't ever got done with that project yet. I hope to today or tomorrow one. Uh, today's December 4th. I don't know when you'll see this video. But uh, this is not mine. The chainsaw is mine. That is a steel ms181c anyway we'll start up here on the wall i have a km 94r with a weedy attachment i also put blades on there for brush cutting i have a darwin's grip for that attachment then i have a husqvarna 525 lst with a darwin's grip i have a husqvarna 525 lst mark ii with the newer style Darwin's grip that I can already tell I'm probably not going to like. Uh, I wanted a Darwin's grip for it, but I don't think I'm going to like it. Then a Red Max 260 TS, a used one with Darwin's grip, and a brand new one that's barely been used, kind of like a backup trimmer. Uh, it's the same thing, be a 260 TS. No Darwin's grip on it, don't need one on it. 
backup trimmer. I need to adjust my trimmer racks to fit these. The KM will go on the wall, all these will go on the rack. Got some shovels, got a round shovel, flat shovel, a couple different rakes, plastic leaf rake, pitchfork. I have the pole saw and the extension right there for the combi. Those will stay in the trailer during all the season. i growing season, I've had them out of the trailer because I've been using them more or less in the off season. The uh, blower rack, I need to do some modifications to, to make it fit my 580 BTS backpack blower. I'll get to that in a bit. I've got three or four other gas cans, five gallons for regular gas. I use that one for my mix. That's my mix jug that stays in the trailer all the time. And I've got Bawyer, Bear, whatever tools, angle grinder, reciprocating saw, spotlight, batteries, impact driver, impact wrench, hammer drill. I got a Milwaukee grease gun. I've also got in the Ram a 3 8 impact wrench and a tire inflator. A toolbox, I've just got full of tools, a Yukon box from Harbor Freight, cobalt socket set. Uh, over here I've got just a couple of odds and ends. I keep my like weed eater heads and parts and different things over there and just different stuff, mixed gas or oil for mixed gas I mean. Oils and coolant, different things for the vehicles. Big sprayer I've not used in a year. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I keep a handheld sprayer for weed spray. Uh, use the Pittsburgh Creeper when changing my mower blades. With this, this is the Fisher mower lift from Harbor Freight. I'll raise them up a bit, roll under them with the Creeper, zip the blades off, and good to go. Poland, this is actually a 2150, but it's got a 2050 cover on it. Great saw, got that for free actually from a friend. Been a great saw. I need to sharpen and clean up the chains and tighten the chain and whatnot, but it's a really good saw. Another saw, MS310, I got really cheap. Another great saw. This is kind of my uh, chainsaw shelf. I did have them over there, just wasn't enough room for four saws. Dad has a MS-170 steel, and I've got the 181, but uh, Dad's a couple of weed eaters, the two white ones. I got, I kind of moved them over here. And got the Milwaukee Fuel M18 weed eater. This weed eater was mine, it's no longer mine. It's actually my helper's, he's wanting me to fix it, I just ain't got around to it just yet. Battery powered chainsaw and hedge trimmers, they're Bawyer, come from Harbor Freight, same as my other battery stuff. Those stay in my trailer through the growing season. Then the Husqvarna 580 BTS Mark III leaf blower, the Steel BR600 leaf blower, the Husqvarna gutter cleaning kit. I'm going to get a Husqvarna 125 handheld blower yeah, that'll fit that. I did have a steel BG50. I kind of give it to a friend of mine. He worked for it kind of to help him out. He helped me so I helped him out. He's wanting equipment or something. He wanted a blower and I gave him that blower. Blower's fine. He wanted it and I helped him out by giving it to him. I'm going to get a Husqvarna blower to because that kit won't really work on this blower. This is a trimmer plus tiller attachment. It'll work on my steel. I've got the, I can't remember what you call that thing. It's big snow plow shovel like deal. Snow caster, that's what that is. Step ladder. These mowers I'm not using from my work, so they ain't important. But uh, 2022 John Deere Z950E, or no, Z950M, I mean, I don't know why I said E. Z950M and pressure washer hoses and stuff. I'll show you the pressure washer after a while. And a Spartan KGXD 37 and a half, 37 horsepower Vanguard EF5 61 inch deck. Got a cheap Harbor Freight 
uh, welder, wire welder, and a bare, ball or whatever grinder. Then in here I've got a split maul that's junk. I can't I swear you can't split nothing with that thing. The edge of it is so thick. I've ground it down, you still can't split nothing. We do use that push mower. I don't use it for my for my work, but if I needed to, I could. This is Dad's tiller, and we got another one. That one ran out of oil in the gear case, and I rebuilt the gears in it. And he needed the tiller before I could get done with it, so I ordered this one new last year, I believe, or this year, 2022, saying that one there should be good to go. And then here's my pressure washer. Uh, spike aerator, I don't aerate, but I have an aerator. I got it cheap. I need to use it on my own yard sometime this year. I wanted to this, well, 2023. I wanted to in spring of 2022, and I never did get to it. Uh, gas jugs, like I mentioned, and a Scott's spreader. Got more E-Track if I need it. Air compressor in there in the garage. But, uh, and like I said, that splitter is not mine. But that's pretty much it. That's what I'm rocking with for 2023.